What's up guys and thanks for joining us as we check out what, uh, what I've been told is the rather adorable Battle Cakes by Volcano Bean. Uh, I'll be honest, I've not heard anything about this game. It come up as a complete uh, recommendation for a, a tweet that I received. Um, we're playing a demo through, uh, I, oh, I'm going to pronounce it, Itcho, I-C-H-O. Uh, you can play this now, there'll be a link to the demo in the description below. Check it out. Um, it's... Uh, yeah, apparently it's an adorable, what they're calling, snack-sized RPG. So let's click to start. Uh, oh, God. Let's go full demo. Oh, okay. I can see what people are calling adorable hair. Let's go. Oh, what's going on? You customize a cupcake. It's got to be a mohawk. I don't care what anyone says. It is going as a mohawk. Oh, sweet. So already the B for back. Okay. Uh, so controller support? Is that... Cheeky, I see that already. Uh, we're playing this on PC, obviously. Um, what colour are we going to be? Bra no, I'm brown. I'm lump of poo. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to go blue. Looks pretty cool. Oh, I should do the indie credible colours. Can't really. That's about as pink as we can get. So we're going to go with wrapper. What colour are we going to go to wrapper? Uh, yellow. Because oh, looking indie credible ish. Eyes. Uh, we're going to go little flicky eyes. Because, you know, why not? Why the hell? Look, look at that. A little bit evil on the eyes, maybe. Eh, can't see anything there. Good dark purple. I'm, I think our little cupcake looks the absolute boss. Start demo. Okay. Uh, okay. This is, really is a RPG. That, was that jelly beans? Yeah, it was jelly beans. Uh. This game is adorable. Do you know? I, I, you hear this so much. This is a Switch game. I'd love this on the Switch already. I'm instantly like, wow, oh, this got plus got a sword. Let's go and beat him up. On guard, birthday sprinkle. Uh, whoa, what's all this? You ready to practice? You promised to show me some real moves. Uh, okay. Uh, the, okay, so your currency looks like looks like it's jelly beans. This game's just adorable. I'm not going to read them out because my I have a terrible reading voice, and you guys can read yourselves. I can read. Yeah, that's Do you know what? I'll read them out because otherwise it's just awkward silence. Something or things broke into my shop last night. They smashed up most of my inventory. It'll be a couple of days before I get my next shipment from Bunt City. Uh, curse those villains. Ha, you're such a dear. Don't worry. We'll get things back in order soon enough. Someone's got to get to the bottom of this. Come on, spiky-haired dude, questy person. Um... So, I is inventory. They said I've got a sword. I have no idea. The Nether Hill. They're really playing into the... Um, into the... How do I close my inventory? Uh, there you go. Back. Okay. Oh, there's a bush. Uh, what happens if I press the bush? Like you shake the bush. Everyone likes shaking the bush. What's a uh, bourbon? He looks like a bourbon. Hey! Birthday sprinkle. I'm guessing it's my birthday. Uh, what's the rush, champ? Hey, Chuck. Did you know this is your lucky day? You are one bean toss away from the future, my friend. Sounds a bit ominous. Uh, are you ready to take the plunge and experience the fame and success that can only be afforded to you by... The well? The well? Hey! Wait, have you heard this before? Not really. Yesterday, maybe? Oh, well, I don't bore you with this big pitch, then. Oh, good. I really need to. So, how about a small pinch, champ? No, no pinch. I'm already the master of my own destiny, Chuck. Captain of the USS Bright Shiny Future. No pocket change required. Ooh. Now that's the spirit. Go get him, kid. You know, you remind me of a young... Bye, Chuck. All right. So long, kid. Uh, can I get... Look at a little gnome. Even, even, even the gnome's cute. Uh, A. Okay, so this doesn't use a mouse at all. I'm using 
just keyboard, uh, arrow keys and A to action and then B to back and I for inventory. Hi neighbor, it's not really neighbor, you're actually over the road, but we'll let that drop. Hello, birthday sprinkle. Uh, how's our favorite tenant doing? Just looking for adventure, how exciting. Well, be sure to take some first aid frosting from the chest before you go. It's always good to be prepared. Thanks, Miss T, you're the best. You gotta get that birthday frosting. Obtained first aid frosting. Can we go upstairs? We can go upstairs. Uh, these are doors? These are doors. I don't really need to go in here. I don't really need to go in here. Go on. Top middle of the bottom. Michael Barrymore. East right. Did lucky. Oh no, that's the stairs. Oh, I thought I got it lucky then. Okay, so I completely get the. This game is adorable. Uh, there's so. I should probably talk about it more rather than just blabbering on. Uh, we we'll do it after we've spoken to Flavio. How's it going? Grumble, grumble. Oh, he's a he's a church, cheery old chap, isn't he? Uh, sorry, birthday sprinkle. Some kind of hoodlums got in the inn last night. Oh no, not you too. They tore up all the pillows and blankets. What a mess. Uh, not the comfy pillows. Every last one. I love how I've actually gone into voices for the characters. Those monsters. I got a lot of cleaning up to do before I can reopen. You keep an eye out, okay, kid? Uh, I'll find those creeps. Grumble. Thanks, kid. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the game quickly. Uh, Volcano Bean are the developers. I've never heard of them before. I honestly can't tell you if this is their first game, third game, tenth game. Uh, the, the, the low development or the low marketing behind it, I'd assume it's, it's close to their first game. Oh, more jelly beans. Um, it's this is so what we're playing now is a pre-alpha demo. Oh, don't tell me you can fish. Oh, I love fishing in video games. Um, so what we're playing now is a pre-alpha demo. Uh, so it's very early stage. Come on, why don't we fish? Uh, so it's very early stage in, in the um, in development stage. You can, if you like what you see, uh, you can you can back. Or if you like what you play, because you guys can play this bad boy in the link below. Uh, then you can back the game just by donating it. Oh, hmm. I think I have some unfinished business to handle before I go to Butterworth Heights. They're really playing into the sweetness of this game, and I love it for that. Uh, so you can throw throw them money. There's, it's not a Kickstarter thing, so you don't get rewards for it. Um, but you can just throw them a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars if you want. But if you do fancy some rewards, they have a merch store, so you can go on there, and the merch is. I looked at it before, and I didn't really know much about it, obviously, because I've not played the game. But it's as adorable as the game. It's uh, very cute. Uh, so if you, I think the t-shirts were sitting around twenty dollars. Throw them a t-shirt. I don't know how much profit they get from that, but I'm sure the developers will take some profit, which will be used for the development of the game. So um, if you do fancy rewards, I'm I'm tempted to go grab a t-shirt just by playing this game for five minutes. It's just adorable. Okay, red velvet. Oh my gosh, birthday sprinkle. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Really? There's like five buildings in this town. There's something strange. There's something strange going on around the vanilla hill. I can't put my finger on it, but stuff's getting broken? Stuff is getting broken. General, yes, that. Something is causing trouble around here, and we need to get to the bottom of this. Do you have your frosting blade with you? Only all the time. Good. Let's go check out the park. The park? Yes, the park is conveniently bordered by a thick thick covering of forest that could conceal the activities of... You had me a frosting blade. Let's check it out. Red Velvet has joined the party. This is a proper RPG. Oh, we're into the next screen. And what have we got here? Is the potato? Uh, oh, hey, Macro. What's wrong, little guy? <laughs> Oh, he's upset. Uh, my my gardening supplies, my shovel, they're ruined. Villains, villains, I say. What? Oh, sorry, just getting into character. Did you see anything? No, I just found everything like this. It looks chewed on. Who eats a shovel? Hang in there, kiddo. We got this. I tell you, what, my reading here. I, I don't even got kids, but I mean, I've got the perfect bedtime story manner. If I agree, I would say comment on that below if you agree, but. That's just a little bit weird. Right, let's go over this bridge. Come on, cupcake dude. I mean, look at my cupcake. He looks like a dude. Look how much money I'm getting. Bear. Oh, oh, we're in a battle. Bra, boogle, boogle. 
Gum droplins? Yikes, gum droplins! But they never stray this far from the woods. Something strange is definitely going on here. Looks like those cute little smiles. Don't let those sweet smiles fool you. Gum droplins can be nasty little critters. Time for justice. Let's go. Okay, I... Okay, so I should have said before, it's a turn-based RPG. Uh, if anyone listens to our, our podcast, uh, I'm going to go battle. Two arrows on the middle dude. Uh, befriend? Uh, okay, that's weird. I have to use a mouse for that, but then I can't use my up and down. Oh, I can use my up and down. Uh, I'm going to put a mouse in the corner so it kind of gets out the way. Oh, there. Out the way. Out the way. Juggle uh, for this one. I have... Okay, that's free health. I'm... <laughs> so you get... <laughs> that's, that's, so, that's seriously cool. You can get little friendship points for the them. I don't know the difference between doing two arrows or one arrow. I don't know if there's any benefit doing two. He's got to befriend him. Joke. The one at the bottom. He's nearly in love with him. He is. He's in love with him. I don't know what he does now. I've, I've done if he's a friend or what, but two arrows. Got the top. He's got to be dead. Oh, missed with one. Right. Slice, dice, chop like crazy, baby. What are we gonna do? We're gonna chop like crazy. He chopped like crazy. That was a brutal. One arrow. Got the top. It's gonna be over. And everyone's. Oh, it's not gonna be over. Okay, I like the bar at the bottom that tells you when you wait in, when you choose, when you add. It looks a bit depending. Talking about the gum droplins, right? Uh, yes. We're definitely not thinking that Flavio did all this for insurance reasons. We're not, right? We're not, right? Let's head, let's head home and collect our reward. The peace of mind of knowing we made Vanilla Hill safe again. That's good too, and totally what I was thinking. Definitely wasn't what he was thinking, was it? He wanted a little bit more. Cheeky, he wanted a little bit more. Well, that was anticlimactic, to say the least. Who has a treasure chest and doesn't have anything in it? Right, this must be Princess Sugar Cube. I say Sugar Cube because her chin looks very Will Young esque. Hey. Wow, I know, right? Isn't she wonderful? Yep. Who is she? Wait, seriously? Birth Sprinkle? That's uh, St. Crispy. Who? St. Crispy, saviour of pastor <laughs> Pastelaria? Uh, holy matron of peace, the, ma the patron saint of all things that remain strong in milk-drenched times of despair. Drawing a blank here. <laughs> oh, that's St. Crispy. Come on, let's get moving. Right, lead the way. I literally can't do that. Oh, right, onwards. I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm not taking a piss with the right in the way I'm I'm speaking it. I'm just getting into character, you know. Uh, oh, he's happy now, isn't he, eh? He saw those gumdrop limbs get taken down. You did it. All in a day's work. But I've got to say, the right in here is actually <laughs> genuinely quite funny. It's very cute. It's adorable. It, it's really sticking to its guns with the whole sweetness, cake, aesthetic look it's got going on. It's a full turn-based RPG, as we just saw. We've got party members. We've got characters to think. We've got a home world here. We, she looks happy. Let's go chat to her. Uh, on guard, mini. He was all upset. He still looks pretty upset, and mopey. But let's have a look. How's it going? Grumble, grumble. That's good. Oh, sorry about sprinkles. some kind of. Yeah, I. Okay, that's not changed there. I can go. Okay, you can't go inside. Uh, who do we speak to? Then? I'm confused. Uh, this thing was closed, right? Yes, that was closed. Oh, we didn't go in here, did we? Magic potion shop, did we? No, we definitely didn't go in here. We did speak to the old... Whatever she's on the outside. First aid, uh, maple syrups. Don't think... Uh, blood drinking. Uh, really? These are going to cost 25? I mean, I'm mint. I've got 70. Yes, please. I'm going to take another one. Thank you very much. Um, God, we've been in 17 minutes already. Oh, look at this emo cake. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever be saying that playing an RPG video game, but there is genuinely an emo cake just staring at me. Hey, dude. Uh, midnight truffle, what? 
Can we call a brown cake midnight truffle? Um, yeah, let's go for it. Uh, birthday sprinkle. It's an actual name. It's not actually a birthday. Uh, where have you guys been? I've been looking everywhere for you too. Really? There's like five buildings in this town. Uh, oh, okay, nice. Okay, so that was a demo. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed. That was like a 16-minute demo. Obviously, we've got the battle demo, which I guess would just go through the, the, the battle mechanics. Uh, I'm going to sign up for the mailing list, definitely. I'm going to throw the developer some money, and I'm going to check out that sweet Merc. The link will be to the, the page where you can see all this will be in the description below. Just check it out. That was 17 minutes. It's a fun game. It's a game that if, if there was enough backing and support, it would come to the Switch, and instantly it's a game I'm like, oh, I want this on the Switch. It's a nice, quirky, fun game on the go. How adventurous it gets and turn-based it gets and how long it gets, I don't know. They, they are saying a snack-sized RPG, so... That would, to me, sell around about four or five hours, which is very short for any RPG game. But it's fun. It, it's stun. I say it's stunning. The, the artwork does it justice with the sweetness and the and the the cuteness to it. It's just adorable. Um, definitely go check it out. Battle Cakes, Volcano Bean are the developers. Like I said, the link is below. Um, like. 15 minutes is all it takes. Uh, it's, I can't even find that information of where this game is meant to be coming. Obviously, PC is where it's going to release when it's complete. Uh, but PS4, Xbox One, and I'll reiterate again, Switch would be amazing. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit shocked. I'm not lost for words. I'm a little bit like I wasn't expecting it. I, I didn't know anything about it. I was told it was an adorable, cute adventure RPG to check out by someone on Twitter, and I'm thank you very much. I'm going to t reply to that person. I'm not going to say their name because I don't know how they like their privacy being kept, but I'm going to reply to them and thank them very much for their recommendation. It's a very adorable, fun little game. Uh, I hope you liked my voiceover and the way I read the bedtime story-esque uh, dialogue. And um, yeah, to keep up to date with Battle Cakes, then we might not have loads of video content, but we'll have lots of news content over at IndieHighFromCredible.com. But to keep up to, up, up to date with other indie games that are releasing, uh, any news, reviews, previews, recommendations, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we make sure we keep you guys up to date with everything we know. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Battle Cakes out.